hello friend welcome to our channel for tech lt tech lt world so today's topic i will discuss the mimo for spatial multiplexing and recording in depth like what is the mimo so you people are knowing mimo so i am giving some brief about mimo so mimo is basically involve the multiple antenna transmitting at the same time and receiver side it will receive with multiple antenna so i will make the model today like if uh, there are uh, like here if you go through with uh, antenna system so might be there are this, this is antenna right so and so on and so forth so might be you have r r receive antenna so this is rx antenna so similarly i mean so here we can have multiple transmit antenna too so so transmit antenna transmit antenna number of count count of transmit antenna we can say as a this is tx antenna and and the transmit antenna total number of transmit antenna is t and total number of receive antenna is r Right. So basically, this is R plus T model means R receive antenna and T transmit antenna. So that can be like uh, you people might be aware about those things like two cross two MIMO, four cross four MIMO. So in case of two cross two MIMO, your R is equal to two and T is equal to two. In case of four cross four MIMO, R is equal to two and T is equal to sorry, R is equal to four and T is equal to four. So so here four cross four MIMO. This is very symmetric uh, means four four transmit antenna and four receive antenna. But I will take the model for uh, like uh, in R cross T antenna. So before going forward to discuss um, their model mathematical model how we can model it. So you must know like what is MIMO. So basically MIMO in MIMO we have multiple antenna. So we are using same spectrum. And by, by using those same spectrum we can transmit with multiple antenna port. Right. So uh, basically we are we are increasing our data throughput with means number of antenna times right suppose we we have uh, if we are using one antenna and we are getting 100 mbps so might, uh, then uh, again we will use two antenna in same spectrum we can use 200 mbps right so that is like so uh, so so here antenna can be used so i will take the example for multi spatial multiplexing so what is spatial multiplexing means we are from two antenna we are sending two different data so basically what just just for example i am taking two antenna so in two antenna so our backend data is something some in binary format right some digital data is there right so that digital data in one and zero format right so it's something something one and zero one zero one zero like that right so that means we can send some data from here and some data from here right so so basically what is the idea about spatial multiplexing it means we are sending different different data from different different antenna in same spectrum right so that will increase our throughput so that is the primary requirement right so we need to increase our throughput uh, by using multiple antenna technique right so we are basically we are exploiting the uh, spectrum utilization by uh, transmitting those data with multiple antenna right so we'll see like why why we are how we can use it in mimo so see so this is the antenna like in mimo we have antenna arrangement is like this so this one this is rx right so this is first antenna so we don't know like how many means we can we can model for in general right so and then i will take one example so this is your first antenna second antenna and so on and so on this is rth antenna right so total r antenna at the receiver so similarly so we have to make the transmitter antenna two so this is one this is second antenna and so on and so forth this is tth so this is first this is second this is tth antenna so this is basically tx tx means transmitter transmitter 
this is receiver right so basically how here from here we can we are transmitting some signal x right so x x1 x2 x and so on right so just we are transmitting some signal so here this is this one is like here your free space right so free space basically we have to like in free space there are some some channel model we have to make right so because if if we transmit signal from uh, antenna and then it will travel to the our air interface then air interface will do something like uh, during during transmission at air interface so some changes happen right so might be some amplitude change happen some uh, phase change happen so for that we make the model so basically at if if you so if you see the broad broad model of uh, this this antenna and this uh, this transmit and receive antenna so i'm just take the 2 plus 2 my 2 plus 2 uh, antenna model so where r is equal to 2 just for example right so this is just for example i'm taking r is equal to 2 and t is equal to 2 so 2 plus 2 my channel model right so in 2 plus 2 channel model how your system look like so r is equal to 2 and transmit is equal to 2 so basically here we are transmitting we are sending x1 from first antenna and x2 from second antenna right so here some noise added right plus plus here n1 here n2 added so during transmission so here we got here y1 this is x1 this is x2 here we got y2 this is receive antenna 1 and this is receive antenna 2 right this is receive antenna 1 this is receive antenna 2 so but in between during transmission so this is channel right so this this is free space channel so uh, here from this to this from this to this antenna we have channel coefficient basically h11 and from here to here because uh, here to here the channel coefficient is h12 so h12 means this is first and h12 means first antenna and second uh, first tra uh, uh, transmit antenna and second receive antenna between this is the channel model between first transmit antenna and second receive antenna and this is h11 means channel coefficient or channel model between first transmit antenna and uh, first receive antenna so similarly here this will also uh, means here h21 and this one h22 so basically you know like the channel impulse response is there so that is associated with all transmitted signal right so if you make the model so basically if you make the model so y1 is equal to x1 uh, x1 h11 into x1 so this is channel coefficient of this part and x2 also receive x2 because we are we are uh, we are not sending any uh, point to point link we are say, we are sending transmitting sim signal in open interface right so y1 antenna will also receive the x2 component so but for that x2 component the channel impulse response is h21 into x2 so similarly y2 is equal to h12 and x1 because this x1 will receive the so channel coefficient for for this one h12 and plus h22 and x2 this this x2 is going with this channel means component is h22 so if we make <coughs> so if we make if we make this uh, this as a mathematical model so we can see like y1 and y2 if in matrix basically in matrix format we can write like this right so you people know like what is matrix format representation of linear linear equation so this is first equation this is second equation so just for sake i am taking two cross two example so here h11 h12 h21 h22 and here x1 x2 
plus here I forgot like here we receive noise one and here noise two also so n1 and n2 so this is your channel this is your uh, transmission and receive model right so here we can write this like y is equal to this channel this this matrix we can say like y and this one h this is channel coefficient matrix and this one x our transmitted signal plus this is n right so basically our objective is to at receiver side what is our objective so our our objective is to yield the x although we receive the y so y is known and we need to find out the x so for that we need to figure out h so how we can figure out the h for that we we need to making the model so for that we are sending the reference signal so reference signal is pre known to the ev so you will make the channel model according to reference signal so this is the 2 cross 2 uh, channels model how that look like right but i am going for going for discuss the a complete like like not only 2 cross 2 so we can we can go this this is the model this channel matrix for 2 cross 2 but in general in general we if we have like if you go for previous slide so if we have multiple means r antenna at receiver side and t antenna at transmitter side then what will be the channel matrix basically channel matrix channel coefficient matrix more precisely so that will be like this yes is equal to h11 h12 and so forth and so forth so uh, here h1 and t because t transmit antenna so here h22 h21 h22 and so on and so forth h2 t so if you go like here so because r receive antenna so h r1 h r2 and so on h r t so this is basically r plus t matrix right so if you take the 2 cross 2 matrix example so here if this is easy to understood understand so here if you see the matrix if you do the matrix multiplication so uh, this row and this column right h11 x1 plus plus h12 x2 so that is y1 right so that whatever is there so that is simply the just uh, <coughs> just just we have represented this for this uh, this equation into the form of matrix right so similarly if there are r and t r receive and t and t transmit antenna then we can write like this <coughs> So if you see the, I mean, how we can get the in 2 cross 2 MIMO. So just if we will just for sake, just a little like if I ignore N, just for now, that is not actually happen at, I mean, say in, in a real scenario. So how we can get X is equal to H inverse Y, right? So just take the, just H inverse if you multiply and, and, and the only things is there like we can take H inverse if the, matrix is symmetric means matrix is n cross n if any matrix is like uh, r cross t right so if r is equal to t then we can we can multiply directly with h inverse but in general there are not the case like sometimes matrix is not means they are not symmetric because there there might be possible like r transmitted in 90 is ventina right so for that what is the next technique what we can do so the very beautiful concept in linear algebra so th that i have taken from linear algebra so that is used in signal processing so that is used svd svd is singular value decomposition so if you are not knowing this thing don't worry because that is like uh, uh, this is very heavy heavy terms people are using but what is the use of this svd so svd basically basically it will convert our h matrix in into this format u sigma and uh, sorry give me one minute u in 
into sigma into V transpose. So what is the meaning of this thing? Basically, we just written down our matrix R cross T into three matrix representation form. So that is similar like if, if we want to write uh, uh, eight, uh, so we can write like four cross two, right? If you want to write like um, uh, 24, so we can we can write like uh, uh, 8 into 3, right? Or we can write like 4 into 2 into 3, right? <coughs> so similarly, we decomposed our matrix into SVD format, right? So because why we are using SVD format? Because this, this will ease our calculation. And what is the, once what is the matrix representation of this thing? So this is u is also r cross t but sigma sigma is t cross t t matrix right and v transpose that is again t cross t matrix right so if any things are symmetric then we are easy to calculate right so that's why we decompose this this into three I mean, so, uh, svd format <coughs> so what will be the channel model look like here so like in, in 2 cross 2 minus we deduce like y y is equal to this is vector format basically h channel and x plus noise right so so this th this is your complete channel model so h is your channel matrix so that is not symmetric that can be r cross t right so and this this one is like x is your uh, uh, x is transmitter so means transmitted signal so t cross one so this one r cross t and this one r cross one and right? and this one r cross one right so this one your this one is your channel model right so how what happened at receiver side so how we can means this this we received right but still we don't know like what is the x and what is the noise right so so <clears throat> noise we can we can figure out with uh, with some technique but again how we can find the how we can uh, actually get the x symbol at receiver side so for that we are what we are doing we are doing receiver we are basically we are doing it combiner receive beam forming so combiner receive beamforming beamformer basically so what what is what is the meaning of this thing so basically we multiply with u hermitian so because because this matrix having pro one property this svd having one property so if u if you multiply by with u and u hermitian so that will give you identity matrix Right. So this is the property of U that is unitary matrix basically. So that is the property of unitary matrix. So means basically if any, any, any matrix, if you take U and U inverse or any A or A inverse, then it will be identity. Right. So if people are knowing those things with your engineering concept of linear algebra. But in this case, because this is unitary matrix, so U into u hermitian so u hermitian is basically uh, if if our because our channel channel model is complex so just we are taking hermitian if that is real number means if that matrix belong to real number only then we can take u u transpose so transpose is nothing but just we change the row and I mean, row into column and column into row so just interchange the row and column right so that is transpose so so we are exploiting this we are exploiting this property of unitary matrix so what we have do at receiver side so at receiver side so i'm just freshly i'm opening the receiver processing processing so receiver side basically we have our we receive y is equal to h and hx plus n so we can write y is equal to because uh, h h we have decomposed into this format u sigma v transpose right so here we convert h into u sigma and 
we transpose into x for plus n right so this is your complete model so here just at receiver this is this we receive by antenna right so this we receive by antenna in, in time domain basically so just multiply this this equation this equation by u hermitian right so u hermitian if you multiply with u hermitian so y bar is equal to u hermitian u sigma v transpose x bar plus u hermitian n n bar basically why we are taking n bar because that is vector only right so here means just so here we can this as a y tilde right just y tilde and here by property of unitary matrix this will become unity right so here we left with sigma v transpose and x bar plus we can write down this as a also an n tilde right so so this will happen at receiver side right so how again still we have question like how we can get the x right so here uh, bef this this is a receiver process so i will discuss the what happened at transmitter side how we can calculate this thing so again be, uh, before going forward discuss transmitter processing or we can say pre processing or sometimes people are uh, uh, telling like pre coding so here just be remember here u is equal to u u matrix is a combiner so combiner matrix combiner basically combiner receive matrix or combiner beam forming matrix anything so here just we multiply with with u hermitian so basically u hermitian is u only means uh, the the transpose of uh, u uh, in if if v, u is in complex form right so complex means x plus ij something right so next is so tx pre processing so ts pre processing so sometime we call this as a pre coding also okay so this is pre coding so this happen at receiver side so basically our actual transmit vector means basically transmit vector is x so x is x is like our modulated symbol so basically modulated symbol is in the format of uh, like iq data so basically iq data we have i mean so we make some x0 something x1 right so this is some data x in right so that is data so just we represent as a x vector so here what we have we are doing so at receive at at transmitter side this x is the transmit vector so x we are just so so x is equal to v into x tilde right so basically we are transmitting x but our modulated symbol is by by modulation by qps care any any modulation we have vector modulated signal is x basically x is our raw data raw signal so but transmitted signal we are we are taking raw signal and multiply with multiply with one matrix v right so that is that v is called precoder okay so if you recall precoder so this and this uh, multiplying with v this this uh, processing called precoding right so precoding operation so v is precoder and we are doing precoding operation so if you remember y tilde after after uh, uh, combiner uh, combiner receive beam forming operation so y tilde we are getting y tilde is equal to summation of not some reason sorry so this is uh, sigma sigma matrix v hermitian and x bar plus n tilde so <clears throat> what we are doing here we are 
we are doing here just just replacing x bar with with v and x tilde right so this is our original signal that we want right because after pre after pre processing we get x bar so x bar what we have done v into v v vector multiply by x tilde vector right so v is not vector v is vector, basically matrix right matrix so that is t cross t matrix right? t cross t matrix so <clears throat> after this if we multiply both side so y tilde is equal to not multiply so because just we are replacing x bar with v and uh, x tilde so here v hermitian and v x tilde plus n tilde and one more thing this v hermitian v because v is also unitary matrix so v hermitian and v is equal to identity matrix so here y tilde is equal to sigma x tilde plus n tilde right and we are getting very interesting equation right so this equation this equation this equation having one term sigma so if you know about singular value decomposition so this sigma is diagonal matrix so what is diagonal matrix means diagonal matrix means something like this here sigma 1 sigma 2 and so on and so forth sigma n here all other component are zero so principal diagonal element having non zero component and all other component are zero so if you know about little matrix operation so this is very easy to calculate if anything is in diagonal format right so this is very easy to calculate so basically how we can get our our how we can write this thing into matrix format so y1 tilde because we just opening up this complete so yt this vector is likely this right so we have written in y vector format y tilde vector format so vector is look like this so here sigma basically sigma having sigma 1 sigma 2 all other component are zero so this one are also zero this one zero so and so on and so forth so here sigma t because this is t cross t matrix into x1 tilde x2 tilde and so on and so forth x t tilde plus n1 tilde n2 tilde basically this is in matrix format and this is a vector n t tilde right so if you decouple the system basically what is our objective like if if you see the initial system so initially we are getting y1 with with x1 means just in case of 2 cross 2 mimo example so y1 having like x1 component and x2 component so we are not easy to bifurcate like which x means a uh, what is our x1 so if if you clearly monitor this thing so you can get just simply multiply this to this so y1 tilde is equal to sigma 1 x1 tilde plus n1 similarly y2 tilde is equal to sigma 2 x2 tilde plus n2 right and so on and so forth if similarly y t tilde is equal to sigma t x t tilde plus n t right so this is your decoupled system means decoupled system because each y is relating to x only so by this by this we can easily calculate the x1 because our objective is to calculate the x1 at receiver side because that x1 is original symbol transmitted by transmitter although we multiply with uh, v matrix uh, 
to making the x vector so but our original original signal is x one right so that is pre processing after pre processing we got like x bar vector so that x bar vector will consist x1 x2 x3 and so on x4 xt xt component but actual symbol is x1 so here we can easily calculate the x1 so from coupled system we make the decoupled system right so that is n t parallel decoupled channel so we can easily get the signal so why we means we can we can get the different different signal with different different antenna right so so that's why we are calling this thing as a uh, n uh, r cross t spatial multiplexing so basically what we are doing in nut cell so here mimo system equal to here we are doing single va singular value decomposition so here what we are doing combining and precoding right so combining we are doing at where at receiver side then means before combining we are doing precoding combining we are doing rx side and precoding or pre pre processing precoding at transmitter side right okay and after this we are getting decoupled mimo system right so for next like for that like we have optimized optimization means optimization of uh, this uh, power allocation and all, all those algorithm is there so that's that's the whole whole process of decoupling the mimo system by using combining vector and precoding vector so combiner and precoder so basically we are we are just bifurcating our channel model channel coefficient into into svd format so svd basically your u sigma and we transpose so this we decompose our our channel matrix into svd singular value decomposition so here middle here middle component is your your uh, singular value matrix so singular value matrix we that is diagonal and in matlab we can easily get this thing means if you, if you if you get just put a command svd command for any matrix then it, that will easily decompose into this format right so that is a standard mathematical operation okay so hope you like this video so uh, that's all for uh, this video so next uh, in next i will discuss some more concept uh, related to this okay like uh,